part of the United States Department of Education's Green Strides Tour. The Green Strides Tour is a tour they do every year in a different state, and they visit schools that have been awarded the Green Ribbon status. It's a relatively new award. We created it in 2011 at the U.S. Department of Education. It's an award that was actually created at the request of 80 national organizations. And we now honor schools, districts, and we have a post-secondary category for their sustainability work. And then real world, hands-on, sustainability, environmental learning, understanding that what we do as humans in our schools and our communities has an impact on those communities and in ultimately on the planet. The programs that we put in place, the classes, we've taken away some of the traditional related arts classes like wood shop and home ec, and we've replaced them with things like robotics and science of foods. The school has a greenhouse, so we do things in the greenhouse. And the school itself is a teaching tool for the students. One of the kind of spearheading main programs we do is Ginger Build. Ginger Build is a green design program where we build green gingerbread houses, and that has really drawn our students in. Garden, this is the green roof, waste compost. There was like this, the overall architecture and green building part of the curriculum where it was like learning about all the different environmental factors, and then as they were just describing, there was a math component. So they had a budget and they had to go to the store and they could only, they had to pick and choose which elements they wanted to include. It was all a totally project-based learning class, full curricular um, exposure. So it was really cool. What it is, is these kids' future, there will be robotics everywhere. We're trying to introduce them to what is a robot. When you see one, what types, what are they doing, and how do they work. And that how do they work is programming. So we're trying to instill a little bit of coding and programming so that they understand how that affects the robot. So being here with the Rob stuff, one, taught me a number of things, but also was an important reminder with how important experiential learning is. To see students actually engaged, doing something while learning at the same time, one, their enthusiasm, their excitement level, their engagement levels was, was absolutely contagious. I mean, when, when you were working from station to station and walking and visiting students and seeing every student engaged, that's a huge step in the right direction academically and, and in, in relation to teaching and learning. So that was an important reminder as to how important it is to engage students um, in learning, not just kind of teach at them, to engage them as part of the teaching. Uh, we encourage the schools to invite their local officials, their state officials, um, because that's how we educate others about the great work going on at these schools. We encourage other schools to do more of the same. Okay, by getting all these visitors here, my visit I always say is an excuse to get other people here to celebrate this work and share their achievements and get other schools um, involved in the similar kind of work which is beneficial for students ultimately.